Hey friends, let me show you the new birds that we got from the chicken swap that we went to last Saturday. <laughs> the other one pooped on me. They pooped on your face. I need a shower. <laughs> Look guys at the two new chicks we got from the chicken swap. These are paint silkies. Are they not the most beautiful cookies in the whole world? You know me, I think they're all beautiful. How about that little one in the back with the long hair? Look how pretty she is. No, baby, no. What do you want me to call him? Buster. Come here, Buster. Buster, Buster, Buster. There they are, look how pretty. A paint silky is a combination of two different colors. Firstly, it is a black chicken, solid black all over. But on top of that black is a dominant white jean. And the dominant white has windows that peek through and that's what gives the black spot. The dominant white doesn't cover over the black completely with just a single, a single copy of the gene. Now if you had two copies of the dominant white, then you would have a solid white bird. So to breed paint silkies, you pair them with a black silky and therefore half of the babies will be visually black because they don't have a copy of the dominant white gene and the other half will will receive a copy of the dominant white gene and they will be paint now if you bred paint with paint then 25 percent of the babies will be black 25 percent of the babies will be white and only 50 percent of the babies will be paint so you can pair the two paints together, that's okay. There's no lethal gene involved as far as my research can tell. Y'all stay up here. Stay, 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 stay. These two came from Joe Murphy. I uh, got them at the Kifa Rosa Chicken Swap. I traded a hen for the two babies. And I'm very, very pleased. Now, I do have another paint silky. It's one that I got from Mary Carl at Cog Hill Farm. Oh my gosh, what did you bring me? <laughs> Look at that one. And I'll, I'll show you her in just a moment. Which is the correct way? I will show you her or I will show her to you. I don't know. I go back and forth in my mind over which is the correct way to say that. I will present her. She will be presented. I'm rambling just to show off my babies. Gosh, I love them so much. Daniela, my beautiful wife, she says, why do you like these weird little chickens? I said, because they're cute. She says, well, they're just purely ornamental. They serve no purpose. And, you know, they're not going to lay as much as a leghorn, and they don't have as much meat as a, a Cornish rock. But they bring joy to my soul, and that's important. Is it not? Stop planting flowers in a garden. It's important. Always plant flowers. This is my little silky city, I call it. These are old bird cages, breeding cages that I'm not using for parrots currently. And so I'm using them as little chicken tractors. I cover two sides in the roof with the tarp. You can, you can see in that cage in the back, it's got a trio of silkies in it. It's, a, it's actually a quad. There are three hens, three black hens and a splash rooster. Some of them are naked necks, and the hens all have frizzly feathers. 
never ever pair two frizzles together but we're talking about these paint chickens adorable are they not gosh I love them Captain gave all of those chickens weather names. His name is Silver, like the silver lining of a cloud, because he's a silver blue modern game bantam. That's the blue version of the Birchin modern games. He's teeny tiny, isn't he? Don't put them on his shoulder. See, that's the black that's the black version well, they're tame all she does is reach down and pick them up the birchin color pattern is that silvery color on their necks and their, well it's their hackle on saddle feathers and then some on their shoulder it's essentially a black bird with the birchin gene added to it. And that bird is a blue, which is, it's one, one black gene and one blue gene, and then it has the birchin gene added on top. They're amazing little birds, aren't they? <laughs> Why have you decided? Are chickens ticklish? And everybody's going to look at Catherine's clothes and see that she's changed clothes a couple of times. That's because we've recorded this over a couple of days. And Jonathan, on the other hand, he never changes clothes. He takes a bath up once every three weeks. Now here is this beautiful little girl. This is the paint silky. Now she is dirty. There's, there's no getting around that. She's just filthy dirty. Y'all, we have had a four or five days of really nice weather but prior to that it has rained every day since last October everything here has a, a layer of mud on it uh, this little silky is no exception I would give her a bath but the last time that I bathed the silky on video I got kicked out of a couple of pet chicken Facebook groups for animal abuse of all things uh, the little black silky hen that I gave a bath in the kitchen sink Y'all remember that. That got me in a lot of trouble. This beautiful little girl, she came from Mary Carl at Coghill Farm. She's all grown up now. She is actually already laying eggs. She's one of the little babies that you saw that came out of that cardboard box. We met up with the Coghill gang at a, at a gas station. Well, the Bucky's gas station in Leeds, Alabama. And Mary Carl passed along a whole bunch of her little baby silkies to me and I am forever grateful for that. This is my first ever paint silky that I ever had and I think she's gorgeous. She, does, she doesn't want to stay up on top of that pen. Um, she wants to jump down and run around and I'm afraid that it'll be a ordeal to try to catch her. But look at those black patches leaking through. I love that. I think it is beautiful. And there are the two babies that I have. Now again, I'm going to pair mine with the best black silkies that I have. Uh, she is already paired up with a really nice rooster. Just a, a pure black silky, not a naked neck, not a frizzle, not a anything. And I'm okay with that. I would like to one day have some that are uh, naked necks or some that are satins or sizzles or frizzles or whatever the nomenclature is for them nowadays but i just love these guys i hope you do too i hope you enjoy watching my videos and me showing off my birds and i know i watch other people's videos to live vicariously through them things that i'm not able to have i love watching haymaking videos i, I just love that i don't know why it's calming to me uh, Country View Acres is one that I, I like watching. 
on YouTube, uh, especially when they're tedding hay. If you don't know what tedding hay is, then you need to look that up. But I'm rambling just to show off my chickens. Gosh, I love that bird so much. You know, we don't, we haven't, I haven't even given her a name. Y'all help me name her. This one chicken that came from Mary Carl at Cog Hill Farm, she is a paint-colored silky chicken. Help me name her, please. Leave comments down below. And we'll, we'll let the kids pick out a name from one of the suggestions. Oh, well. She's jumped and she's letting that that splash colored naked neck showgirl court her. Do you think you can get her, Catherine? I don't think she's gonna run. She's fairly tame. Oh my gosh, my finger hit the stop button right as you bent down to pick her up. I promised, guys, if you're watching this video, I did not edit out a big chase scene or something. Catherine just reached right over and picked her up. I'm so sorry, baby. I'm going to put this chicken on the ground and we're doing that again. Well, pick her up. Now she's going to run from you. She knows what to expect. <laughs> See, that's why I love silkies. They're just so sweet and so tame and beautiful. And you know what? In my opinion, they make really good layers. They're, they're small eggs, but they make pretty good layers. Look, there's all three of my paints in one shot. Let me get a thumbnail picture. Hold it up to your face and I'll get a picture. This is a oh, look at my sweet baby. She is... I said you're sweet. I think you're very sweet. She's cutting the opening of this cage just a little bit larger to take out this nest box. And we're going to put another pair of chickens in here. And... Um, as a matter of fact, I have the hen right here. This, of all the little silky type chickens that I have, is Daniela's favorite. The only one that she really likes. And this, I think, I got this one at, uh, well, the same chicken swap, but back in the spring. Um, I paid $10 for her. She's a cuckoo. I think she's a silky mix. I'm not sure what she's mixed with. But she has the red skin, the red face. She does not have the blue earlobes. And if I gently roll her over, her feet are not black and she only has four toes on each foot. But I have thought about putting her with my white crested blue Polish rooster. And I may do that. Or I can put her with a black frizzled silky, uh, a sizzle. Um, I might do that. Which do you think? What did you do? Sizzle? Sizzle. A silky that's frizzled is called a sizzle. Okay. I'm sorry. Why is that funny to you? I don't know. Sizzle. A frizzle that has two copies of the frizzle genus called a frizzle. Are you okay, so which rooster do you think I should put her with? With the blue polish or the black? sizzle let me know yay they got it out okay just need to pick up those index cards and okay Catherine went ahead and decided we're gonna put this black sizzle rooster in with her he is a perfect example of a silky uh, I'm not gonna say perfect he's a very good example of a silky his crest could be a whole lot bigger but he's very small he has dark skin he has a really nice small walnut comb 
He does have some waddles. I'd rather him be bearded, but that's okay. But he has curly feathers. He is a frizzle. You can see on top of his head, the feathers sticking up and his tail, his saddle feathers there. Now he needs to molt, but he has dark skin and he has five good toes on each foot. And he has blue ear lobes. If he had turned his head, you could see. They're, they're hiding behind the, the musk, but he's covered in curly feathers. Um, I like him. Catherine wants to name him Bacon simply because he is a sizzle. He is a frizzled silky. Uh, we used to use the term sizzle to refer to a flat feathered bird that's not silky but had frizzle feathers. But now we call that a frizzle satin. I think that's what we're now calling them. Like I said, terminology has changed, but we're going to put these two together and we're going to hatch every egg that comes out of that little girl. So he immediately starts courting and she immediately wants to fight. Well, no, she's presenting herself. We'll see. I think they make a cute couple. The cuckoo barring gene is... It's a sex-linked dominant. Uh, that's not something that I'm used to with working with parrots. I think that with the female being cuckoo and the male not, the sons will be cuckoo and the daughters will not. If I'm wrong with that then, and you know, then please, by all means, correct me, help me out. You just pour it through the top. Oh, I thought you wanted to. Yeah, no, that's okay. No, that's perfect. Okay, we just give them some scratch feed, and we put a nest crate, a uh, milk crate for a nest in the corner. We're going to give them a big bowl of water and a perch, and then cover the back part of this with a tarp. And we're going to call it done. I think they're going to be fine together. I'm excited to see what we get. Thank you, Jeremiah. What? That is Megaphone Martha in front. She is a white call duck. And then there's Butterscotch. He is a uh, he's a Butterscotch call. And then the third one in the back, he's the boy fight call. Martha has a nest of eggs right there behind that little bench. There's 10 or 12 eggs in the nest. I'm not sure which of the two boys is the daddy. But she's got a, a nest of eggs in the weeds. I knew that she's been nesting up here. I didn't know precisely where. I thought that she was underneath that shed. But I was, had started to weed eat right there and she come up out from under that, that bench and those weeds and scared the bejeebies out of me. I'm sure I scared her too. But now we know.